Hey guys, I'm in the uh, F450, I'm headed to go grab the trailer. Uh, I'm grabbing it a day early. Um, just wanna take my time hooking it up. I moved the trailer hitch up because I'm going from a six inch lift, 37 inch tire to kind of a stock dually. So I did move the trailer hitch up a bit. Hopefully it's enough because it's in the last notch up. Uh, I'm going to hook up the weight distribution thing and just to really get an accurate see where the trailer sits if it's level or not um, Yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna we're doing a little trip up to uh, Mead view. We have some friends that are Up that are gonna go up there and they evidently have permission to use a, a spot that somebody owns some property up there so we're gonna take our side-by-side -side and I guess there's a lot of riding and trails and things around there. It might be kind of fun try to uh, video most of it and take you guys along for the ride um, to be continued. Found a beautiful spot here, down by the river. Down by the river. Hopefully we're not living in a van down here anytime soon. There's the machines. <laughs> Having a great ride out here. In the Mead View area. thought I'd do a quick video to follow up with the towing and everything. I thought I'd let you see uh, what the 2021 uh, with the four, uh, F450 with the 10 speed transmission does. This is 65 miles an hour and it's at about 1800 RPM or so. If I uh, speed up to 70. Just to follow up with the towing, um, it's amazing the difference uh, between the Ram that I had with the taller gears and the 37 inch tires. Um, you know, this has the stock uh, 19 and a half inch wheels and, and tires. Um, with the 430 gear ratio and the 10 speed transmission, um, the power difference is just really, really, really amazing. A lot more power it's just so easy to get up to speed um, I notice the length of the truck too um, the brakes on this uh, are just so much better than on the Ram uh, now granted like I said I had big tires and wheels on that so probably not a fair comparison but even I think if they had stock ones I really feel like these 450 brakes are just something else I really enjoy the mirrors on this um, I like the fact that you can power them in and, out, in and out. I think they're just as good as the Rams for seeing. Uh, if not, I kind of like them a little bit better. Um, as far as uh, the towing ability, I feel like I can turn just as well. I really like the length of the truck. Um, I feel like uh, it's, it's just... It does its job. You can really feel the dually. I will say that when I put the airbags on the Ram, it did feel pretty solid. And I noticed on this one, I might've had the trailer loaded a little bit too far aft. And also I need to get a little bit taller hitch because um, my trailer's riding a little bit nose low. I gotta fix that down the road here too. But it did feel like it, it I could feel it pushing on me a little bit sideways and. Uh, versus the Ram used to feel that way a lot and then I got the airbags and it really stiffened it up so I think maybe airbags for this down the road wouldn't be a bad idea 
Um, and I, I think some of that's just mainly the suspension working. You know, you put a little weight on it and then it gets down to those bigger springs and it just uh, uh, kind of, I think, is the suspension working more than anything. The airbags are just solid. But, um, but I do like the length of it and how it pulls. Now, I was going to get to the, uh, the Jake brake, which is you activate it up here on this truck. But, um, or the, it should say the exhaust brake. <laughs> I guess Jake brake, that's like an old logging term or something. I'm not really sure where that came from. But um, I do feel like it works a little bit better on the Ram, I would say. Um, I did try going downhill with the, um, with the cruise control on. And I have to say, I didn't care much for that because it really tried to, I think it was even activating the brakes and it would shift down and, and let the RPM rev to, uh, you know, like 3,500 RPM and stuff. And I don't, I don't really like that too much. So I was just able to um, click off the, um, the cruise control and just manually, you know, let the, let the exhaust brake work and all that I, and just manually put on the brakes when I needed to and I feel like that worked better I do feel like it on the Ram I thought it was a little bit better um, so that would maybe be one point for the Ram um, other than that I'm just extremely happy I feel like it's a much safer unit to pull with for me uh, the dualies you know the dual rims and tires and the high you know high PSI tires and uh, the length of the, the vehicle and the ability to stop is so much greater with this um, and it just feels like you know you have a, a vehicle that's I don't I think this this one probably weighs close to a thousand pounds more and you can really tell when you pull you just feel more solid I'm, I'm definitely driving uh, more relaxed um, and the power just feels like it's not even back there Anyway, that's kind of my preliminary report on uh, towing the uh, towing my trailer. Uh, more to come. We'll talk soon.